Hi, Eric Mattis from jamplay.com and good to be back with you again. Today we're going to work on a traditional tune called Glory, Glory, Hallelujah. It's an old gospel tune uh, from the 1800s that uh, has been uh, changed uh, several different ways f to make different songs. Uh, for example, one of the songs that uh, has been built from it is Will the Circle Be Unbroken, which is an early 20th century composition. Uh, so what we're going to do today kind of works for both of those, but the um, name of the tune is Glory, Glory, Hallelujah, and we're going to be playing in G6 tuning. Now, this is a new tuning for a lot of you, so let's talk about what's going on in there first. Okay, so I'm going to start off here in standard tuning. Concert tuning, EAD, GBE. And the G6 tuning is, is actually, it sounds more complicated than it actually is. Uh, actually, all you're doing in G6 tuning is doing the drop D tuning as we did before and dropping the A down to a G. So let's look at how we're going to do that. First, use your fourth string or your D as your guide so that you can tune your E down to, down to a D, making a nice octave difference there. Listen real carefully and make sure you don't get any beating between those two different notes. Make sure that they're frozen together. Because the thing about playing in open tunings is when you play in open tunings, if you're off just a little bit, it'll just drive you nuts. And the guitar, of course, wasn't built for playing in open tunings. So you have to be really careful. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is drop the A string or the fifth string down to a G. So we'll use our third string as a guide. So let's go ahead. Okay, now, so the beauty of this tuning is that you can uh, alternate your bass nicely in G or D, uh, or if you bar, you don't C or any of the other chords that you need, but your top strings are in standard tuning. So basically, you can play uh, like as you would in concert tuning. So it's a great versatile tuning and it works really well for blues, for Hawaiian slack key, for country, for folk music. Um, you can compose your own tunes in this. So uh, it's a great fun tuning, good one for you to get started with. Um, okay, so uh, we're going to be uh, playing this song in G. So let's first look at uh, a G chord that I'm going to start the melody with. This is the beginning of the melody is starts like this. Okay, so first of all, notice that for the G chord, I'm going to be alternating my bass between the fifth and the fourth string. And even if you fret onto the um, uh, in this case, what I'm doing is playing on the fifth fret of the fourth string. So therefore, what I'm what I'm actually getting here is a G. So I'm getting two G's, just like that. Okay, so um, that's the uh, alternating bass that you'll use on the G chord. Will be between the fifth and the fourth string, and then for the D, you'll alternate between the sixth and the fourth. Now, if you play any barred chords um, on this, um, you will be alternating usually between the fifth and the fourth also, as such. And we'll be using the C chord in this song. Okay, so uh, let's form an F chord form and bring it up to the third fret. So this is probably a common form for many of you, but for those of you who it is not, uh, let's go ahead and look at the F chord. So we're covering the first two strings here at the first fret, the second fret with the second finger, and the third fret with the third finger, and then slide this on up to the third fret. Okay, so you're going to have a, a G major chord here. And uh, so uh, we'll start off by playing the melody. And you'll need to be using both of your fingers on this, but a lot of this will be played in unison. In other words, you'll be plucking the second and third strings at the same time, and then the second string by itself, and the second and first strings together. Okay, now the beginning of the melody, as you can see, begins with this G chord, and uh, we're going to put the little finger down here on the fifth fret of the second string to get this G sixth chord. Okay. 
like this. Okay, and then over to the to the top strings. Okay, so let's look at the beginning of that melody. And you, the way you time the melody is really kind of up to you. You can tie it exactly to the bass beats like this. Or you can go like this. The latter one is for people who've really developed confidence with their thumb, with developing that alternating bass, and they're positive that they're not cheating at all on that. So um, we're going to, um, you know, say for right now, let's tie that melody to the bass line. So. Okay, good. Now that's the beginning of the melody. Now the now in order to develop the melody further in G, we're going to make another G chord. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the D chord form, and bring it up to the seventh fret, and we'll be playing in this uh, chord form, still alternating between the fifth and fourth string. Okay. Okay. We're going to, our melody here is going to be derived from the first string and second string. And basically, if you play that first, you can kind of get that melody in your head. And that's basically from the seventh fret of the first string, the tenth fret of the second string, and then the eighth fret of the second string, and then back up to the first string, seventh fret. So it's um, so it's this. Okay, notice that I'm keeping the alternating bass going through the whole thing. Okay, good. Now, next part of the melody is, um, before we go to the C, we're going to play one more thing here in G. So we're going to go... Still the same melody that we played before, but we're not going to come back up to the first string. So it's... Notice I alternated both times. Okay, now we're going to go to a C chord, so just bar straight across on the 5th fret. Okay, and for the C chord, for right now, we're just going to put the little finger here on the 8th fret of the 2nd string, and bar straight across on, the, on all the other strings. But we'll just continue to alternate between the 5th and the 4th string. So it's... So that's the next part of the melody, as you probably recognize. So it's from the second string, okay, then the first string on the fifth fret, and back to that second string, and then lift off there and play the second string. So let's look at that. And back to G. Okay, so let's let's go back and look at this beginning of the melody. Okay, we start off in here on the G chord, add the sixth here, go up to this little G chord up here. Okay, um, and uh, of course uh, we're going to add the A here, which is again the sixth, and then we'll go to the C here, and lift off here, and go back to the G. So let's look through that. Okay, so it's. Okay, up to the seventh fret. Okay, bar across the fifth fret. Lift off and then back to G. Okay, great. Okay, so let's let's go a little bit further and you're gonna repeat yourself a little bit here. You're gonna go. up to the seventh fret here with the uh, G chord. But this time, take the little finger and bring it up to the tenth fret first string. So we're going to play that twice and then lift it off. So it's okay. And then the rest of the melody is, is played here with this G with this little G form, and we're going to uh, take the little finger and put it down on the 10th fret, so... Good. 
good. Now we have to go to the D chord, and this is the D form we're going to use. Index finger on the first string, fifth fret, ring finger on the seventh fret of the set, third string, little finger on the seventh fret of the second string. So now we're going to alternate between the D and the D though, here on the sixth and fourth string. So notice I'm picking one, two, and you can make it if you want to tie it directly with a pinch, you know, of the of the uh, bass line, you can do that. If you want to syncopate it, you may do that too. Just make sure you're getting your bass line down. And back to the uh, G. And your top note there is, uh, that last note is going to be a G. In other words, it's going to be on the first string, third fret. Okay, so good. So that's the first part of the melody. Let's run through it again, and then uh, we're going to take a break, and we'll come back to the next part of the melody. So here we go. Up to 7th fret. C. Back to G. 